I'll introduce you. Hi, this is Steve Schwartz with the RQ Trading Room. This is the Trade Lab Review for November 19th of 2013. I'm here with my partner, colleague, and friend, Edward E.P. Preston. Edward, how things go today? Oh, oh, let's see. Well, so far, so slow, Dale. It's really kind of a lot of choppiness happening. We could call this the Benny Hanna Trade Lab today because it's been chopping across the board. I'll show you the uh, benchmarks that we had starting out today. Um, there you have the stock market on the left, S&P, and you've got the notes on the right. So we've had three sentiment changes. Note that you don't see a stage one or a stage two. Those are our best friends, risk on, risk off. That's when we like to look for um, you know, putting trades on in a lot of the markets that you find over at the Rios Quant website. So uh, just doing a quick little flash here of the website. You know, the markets that I'm talking about that I like to trade and look for opportunities, uh, such as the stocks, Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, uh, and of course a lot of the currencies, especially currencies. I was looking for a play in the currencies today, uh, the fact that we've got um, uh, Dudley talking. In fact, Dudley's talking as we speak. And we had our secretary talking, Lou, earlier Muted. Um, this, uh, this morning. You know, the reality of the situation, we just started off in conflict, putting a white line up here, designating the beginning of tea time. We started conflict. Uh, treasuries went into the neutral. Looked like, you know, we're going to get good here. Treasury's going to go bullish. Stock market here looked like, okay, good. We're going to see the stocks dive, and we'll go put some stock trades on if the treasuries went up. But they didn't. It was kind of like they stopped it, or stopped it, making up my own words now. They halted. Okay, didn't break into the bull, came right back down, traded with the S&P down. That's conflict city. So what does that mean? Well, it means we want to keep our eyeballs on the um, on the uh, independent wildcard markets. Those, some of those like gold, natural gas, silver, uh, Swiss franc, to, admit, to mention a few. Well, here's one of them. This was gold, and this was a losing trade. Put this trade on right when it looked like we were, uh, you know, starting to see a breakdown with the two channel. Note a lot of the yellow. Blue is strength up, purple is strength down, yellow is neutral. Now, you got a nice little break off, break off here towards the end of the London tea time. Just didn't get the same kind of reaction here. Just kind of went down close to 50%. And then, of course, we're going into the dead zone hour, you know, between 9, 9.30, slowing down. And then the stock market opens at 9.30. The stocks dove. They went down at the open, and that's when the metals went up. Stopped me out right on the inside of the bear level. So it took a lot there on gold for about 310 uh, just slightly over 1% there for uh, the, the account that I'm managing. And then the other one that was a loser, unfortunately, as well, was natural gas. Natural gas uh, just got the best of me, unfortunately. Did have a breakdown with the levels. I did this based off of a 30-minute time frame. 30-minute time frame, you'll see the breakdown of the lower channel. And uh, uh, got stopped into the trade. And unfortunately, in the next half hour, this thing came all the way back out. Now, there's two ways of looking at this. You can say, well, wow. You know that the levels are that good. Why didn't you place a buy stop above it? The reason why I didn't today is because the circumstances that were happening at this point in time, I lowered, cut my losses shorter. I anticipated that this thing was going to go actually a little bit higher than that. But my anticipation was, was off, right? Um, as far as my stop goes, I did put a, a smaller stop, but that conservative measure, if you will, uh, got the best of me. You can obviously see where this thing went right to support. So, you know, next time maybe I think, well, maybe add another 50 bucks of risk. An additional $50 of risk obviously could have yielded me what I lost in the gold, but it didn't. So, unfortunately, I lost about a buck 80 there. Um, those are the only two trades that we've had so far. We've come close to getting short, short the Dow. I'm going to cancel that now. And we've come short to uh, uh, or close to getting to some others. The only other one to talk about, man versus machine. The machine today is Einstein. Einstein is currently short gold. I'm sorry, corn. Uh, it's got about 50 bucks in its favor. You can see where the target is down there, near 409 and a quarter. Trading 12 and a quarter, got $50 in our favor. So so far so good. Got Einstein on the corn, and we'll see where this one runs down to the target. Obviously, it's uh, better than me today. In fact, even if this gets stopped out with a $300 stop out, it's better than me. So the machine wins today. Uh, we put we pick one market to to, to put on auto trade, and that would be Einstein. Uh, not a lot of activity, not a lot of reports today. That's part of the problem. Got FOMC members talking and, you know, kind of just putting everything in a neutral mode, if you will. Good news is we got some reports tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we can put the throttle down tomorrow and uh, make back for the losses today. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow in the trade lab. Thanks, guys.